welcome back friends in this video tutorial we'll be talking about the campylobacter species and especially we'll be talking about campylobacter jejuni okay and this campylobacter species is a type of gastrointestinal micro microflora and these are pathogenic okay so that's that's of serious concern because these are pathogenic now usually this campylobacter is a gram negative bacteria so it's the gram characteristic is gram negative they are gram negative in nature and they are simply uh, they are a kind of they are having a kind of special kind of structure right they are carved or spiral shaped bacteria we can call it the s shaped bacteria so s shaped bacteria or spiral so let me write or spiral sorry or spiral shaped bacteria okay and this bacteria usually they are found in single uh, with with single polar flagella so they are having single polar flagella okay so they are having single polar flagella and this single polar flagella that means if i draw the structure so let's say campylobacter looks something like like this kind of uh, structure and it is having a single polar flagella so let me draw this this is a flagella so let me write so this is the bacteria and this is the flagella okay so this is the structure combined okay and this bacteria as they are present in gastrointestinal lining they are present in gi tract usually they are present in gi tract so as they are present in gi tract they are of micro aerophilic in nature they are micro aerophilic in nature micro aerophilic in nature okay and another important thing is that they cannot ferment carbohydrate in any form in any form they cannot so let me write cannot ferment carbohydrates okay so you know that some some of the bacteria can ferment glucose some of them can ferment lactose but this type of bacteria cannot ferment any of uh, this fall these things okay and we can culture this kind of bacteria in special mediums the mediums like like selective they are called the selective medium like blood, blood agar medium uh, containing antibiotics to inhibit the growth of other fecal uh, coliforms or fecal floras now usually they are present in gi tract so we can also find them in fecal uh, in feces right so this is another important part so we can find them in feces so usually so they can be cultured cultured in blood agar media blood agar media can be cultured in blood over media, media so these are the important properties of campylobacter species and another important thing as they are gi tract microorganisms they are related with our different kind of gi tract infections now as we are talking about different gi tract infections the infections may lead to usually diarrhea nausea vomiting abdominal cramps and all these things and definitely they are related with fevers and most of the case this kind of infection so if we are talking about this kind of infection so GI tract infection they caused due to food or water so let me write they due to contaminated food or water so contaminated food or water okay so these are the reasons for the infection now in the future video we'll be talking about this infection part and I hope this video is helping you because uh, and another important thing is that as they are having the flagella, they are motile in nature. So let me write, they are motile in nature. Okay, so I must talk about this. Now in the future video, we will be talking about the infection in detail.